What's going on guys and welcome to part two of the Instagram Stories AMA. So for those of you that have not watched the first part, um, a while back I done an Instagram Story Ask Me Anything type um, post. Got a lot of questions and I thought, you know what, let me just expand the, the answers that I gave on Instagram Stories onto YouTube. So the first part was mainly about social media marketing. So if you're interested in that, then make sure you watch that video as well. This part is going to be more about business in general and lifestyle design. Okay, so without further ado, let's hop into it. Let me get the questions up. What is your goal for the next year? So the next year, I'm guessing you mean 2019. And my personal goal financially is 250,000 euros. So quarter of a million. That is a very, very ambitious goal. And, you know, we're going to see if I can hit that. But, um, you know, it, it is something to work to. It's something that, um, you know, the reason why it's that high and that ambitious is because I would rather have a goal and like miss it by a little bit then you know have a goal of let's say um, 50,000 and hit it you know I'd rather get something that's or have something um, to aim at that is just a little bit out of reach just a little bit unrealistic and actually progress and you know almost get it then having something that you know I'm almost certain from day one that I am able to reach so a very ambitious goal but you know let's see if I can actually hit it um, in terms of brand Panier, uh, my social media marketing agency the goal for this year is have a million um, in revenue for this year and um, again ambitious but the way we are scaling the way we are um, you know, getting clients, getting results, increasing the retainers, building out the team, it is very, very possible that we actually hit it this year. So, um, you know, again, time will tell, but I hope we will actually hit it. Fitness, just want to, you know, keep the fitness up. I used to go like four or five times a week. Um, my body fat potential was like between 10 and 11 percent. And uh, now that I actually work from home, you know, I sit a lot. Um, no longer going to uni back and forth stuff like that um, I have noticed that I'm slowly gaining weight so I do for this year definitely want to get back into shape you know um, start hitting the gym more being more passionate about the gym because you know when you're so busy with business it is difficult to stay passionate about something um, like, like the gym because in your mind it just takes up time and it is time that you'd rather spend on your business so I really do hope that I get that passion back you know really do this year focus uh, back on fitness again um, other goals I like financial goals are my main goal for this year um, I do I still live at home so I would love to move out but again it's something that I'm looking into not trying to rush into anything you know I'm, I'm I love living at home I love working from my bedroom um, but if something comes along my way then that is definitely something that I'm going to look into other than that buy property in the UK is something that I'd love to do this year as well Do you work weekends? That's a good question. Um, I do still work weekends, and the reason for that is because, first of all, I do generally love what I do. I love working on the business. I love, like, even when I'm not in work mode, I'm still coming up with ideas, thinking, oh, what can I do to improve this? What can I do? What's my next project going to be? And I'm not where I want to be financially. So, you know, why not work businesses? Hey, weekends? You know, why? Why? should I take that time off? I'm not where I want to be, so you know, don't be fancy about it. You know, If you're not where you want to be, then just work weekends even. You don't necessarily have to work the entire weekend, You know, every second of every single day, but if you just spend every single day, regardless of a weekend or a work day, just spend an hour every single day, regardless of the day, on your business, and you'll notice that in the long run, it'll be much more beneficial than taking these random weekends off, thinking that because it's weekends, you need to relax, you need to party, blah, blah, blah. You know, that is what the normal people, quote unquote, you know, people that are stuck in the nine to five, stuck in the rat race, yet they will take the weekend off because they hate their job and they want the weekend to uh, unwind. But, you know, if you're like me, then you want so much more out of life and yet you will need to work a few weekends, you know, to actually set up the foundation to get your own side hustle, you know, your own business running. So um, to answer the question, yes, I do work weekends because there's so much more I want to achieve and I will need to put in the work to do that or to achieve that.
advice for those looking for a business partner. Uh, okay, so for those of you that don't know, I work with Bradley Riley. He's my business partner with Brampreneur, our social media marketing agency. We both run the agency, you know, we both work on it. Um, we both do the client outreach, we both do the sales, you know, we're constantly trying to think of ways to scale the business, get better results, stuff like that. And uh, my biggest advice for those that want to partner up as well is be in constant communication. Communication can make or break that relationship. You know, you need to const every single day even if it's not about business just build that relationship you know build that trust constantly talk to each other you know work stuff out uh, set goals you know um, brainstorm with each other you know work out ideas you know think of new ways to get more clients in money online or whatever it communication is definitely like the foundation and if you can tell from the get-go that communication is not gonna be on point or you know it's like you're on a different time zone and the person takes long to apply anything like that then it probably will not work i'm not saying it's impossible but it is going to be difficult so you know just communicate from day one you know let, let that person know you know where, where you are in terms of you know the business what you're feeling like you know if there's any type of issue just put it out there you know don't um you know not tell that person what's going on stuff like that you know like just be open um, communicate like as much as possible and just split test you know at the end of the day um, it is a big commitment but just test it you know see if it works if not find someone else or try and do it on your own but I am a very big um, you know proponent of building a business together I do think that teaming up getting a business partner is a very very uh, beneficial and profitable thing to do Okay, so on to the lifestyle design questions. Uh, what is your online course about and where can I get it? Okay, so my online course is called Lifestyle Design Mastery. It's basically about building a wildly profitable business online and being able to live life on your own terms. So if you work from your laptop, you know, you are uh, location independent, you are time independent, and if you do it properly, you know, you're also financially independent. So, you know, no matter where you are, if you're on the beach, you know on the Bahamas or if you're in the house you know in your own bedroom in bed on the laptop you know you can get work done and that is what I teach you know how to actually build an online business like that I show you various business models and you know I make you choose basically a, a proven online business model which one fits your lifestyle best you go all in on that I show you how to build it how to automate it how to scale it and where you can get it is in the first link in the description box down below the first one of the first videos is actually free so you regardless of if you bought it or not you can actually watch that get a bit of a feel of it you know the quality stuff like that been getting very very good reviews on it and i will be coming out with a live training very very soon just more about lifestyle design and how to actually do it um, it's gonna be like a two hour live training um, but working on that in the background so uh, keep your eyes out for that Will your program work for me? My program, Lifestyle Design Mastery, only works for those that are willing to put in the work, okay? It is not by any means a get rich quick scheme, okay? It is a get rich quicker scheme. You know, you can get rich with it, but you will need to put in a lot of work, okay? So if you are thinking about getting Lifestyle Design Mastery, but you know from yourself that you are not willing to put in the work, then just don't bother with it. Do you offer mentorship? As of now, now I offer coaching, but not like an, a real mentorship program. Um, it's hard because I do really want to personalize and tailor like a program to everyone's needs. And I do that with the coaching. You know, if someone only needs two hours of my time, then I'll give them the two hours. But uh, in terms of coaching, it is something that I'd love to set up in the long run, provided that I can give that person value. So um, as of now, I only offer coaching but mentorship programs is definitely something that I'd look into um, in the long run, but not as of yet. Does lifestyle design mastery include dropshipping? Yes, it actually does. Uh, that is actually, actually a whole section of the course is about dropshipping. Uh, so for those of you that don't know, dropshipping is basically where you um, set up a website, you find a supplier or a product, um, you know from a third party and then you run ads to the website but you don't have actually have like the products in stock but you order them from the third party so you're like a, a middleman the, uh, the 
customer comes to you, to, to your website, buys a product, and then you buy it off the supplier, the supplier sends it to the uh, customer. And that is basically how dropshipping works. It's a very, very profitable online business model, and yet a lot of people are getting into it. But you know, there's so many products out there and you know your target audience is absolutely huge you know, because you can send products to anywhere in the world and um, i basically show you how to set up um, your own dropshipping business how to set up the website how to find suppliers how to uh, negotiate with the suppliers and scale that business or something like that is in lifestyle design mastery so if that is something that you are looking into then definitely look into my online course and see if you know if you can actually set up your own dropshipping business yourself Are you doing an in-person mastermind this year? Uh, this is something that I have discussed with my business partner Bradley Riley of doing some kind of like in-person, offline mastermind. Um, as of yet, there's nothing really uh, set in stone, but it is definitely something that I'm looking into this year. And probably the last question, because it's already 10 minutes on the clock. Um, how can I get value into my posts that lead people to opt in? Okay, so I'm guessing you mean Instagram. So, um, you know, you've got an Instagram account, you've got posts, you know, you're posting on your, your account and you want people to opt in to either a link in your bio or if you've got more than 10,000 followers uh, to swipe up on, you know, your Instagram stories. Um, the easiest, most simple way is the call to action. You know, no matter how valuable your posts are, if you do not tell the people to click on the link, to swipe up, to do this, do that, People will not, you know, do it. People will just read it, consume it, go on to the next one. So, literally, guys, just add a call to action. If I post a new YouTube video, I will add a call to action on my Instagram feed as well as Instagram stories to swipe up to watch the video or to click on my Instagram stories and swipe up or to click on the bio, anything like that. You need to have that call to action because people will not do it out of themselves. You need to tell them, you need to guide yeah, your customers, your consumers, your people that follow you. You know, you need to guide them into uh, doing what you want them to do. So call to action is the way to do it. Okay, guys, so like I said, uh, that was part two. I'll have a third part, which is like other questions, personal questions, family relationships, travel and all stuff like that. That'll be coming out next. Uh, like the video if you got something out of it. Comment down below if you've got any more questions on business or lifestyle design mastery. Subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you guys in the next one.